Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a weekly reset. In these videos I share all of the things that I need to get done before my week starts and hopefully motivate you guys. It makes my week so much easier whenever I do this. I've got lots of cleaning and a little food prep for you so I hope you enjoy. Before we hop in, I would like to thank Top Cashback for sponsoring today's video. If you guys like to shop online, I know I certainly do. About 90% of my shopping is done online these days. And through Top Cashback, I can shop at all of my favorite retailers like Amazon, Walmart, the Dollar General, the Dollar Tree, Bed Bath & Beyond, and even the Container Store for all of my cleaning and organizing needs, and I can get cash back on my purchases. I love to get a lot of my cleaning supplies from Grove Collaborative as well. You guys know that I love the Method and the Mrs. Myers products. That's the two main things we keep a good supply of. And right now, I can get cash back on any of my Grove Collaborative purchases. Top Cash Back has over 4,000 retailers, and they offer 100% of the commissions that they earn from their retailers back to members in the form of cash back and because of that they consistently feature higher rates than competitors and there's no minimum for payout signing up is easy you just simply enter your email type in the password you would like and you're good to go i even have the browser extension on mine so that i can just click it before i shop and look for my store and just shop as i normally would it just takes a couple of seconds top cash back will be given my subscribers who sign up a ten dollar top cash back sign up bonus plus cash back on their purchases upon spending $25 or more. So click that link in the description box to get started. And once again, thank you to top cash back for sponsoring today's video. So it's about 7:30 in the morning right now. I had a grocery pickup scheduled for eight. So I grabbed myself a coffee while I was out. I had tons to do. This was my treat to myself and a little motivation at the same time. So it is really nasty weather out today, but I'm not going to let that stop me. Sometimes when it's dreary outside, all I want to do is lay around and be lazy and watch movies, but that's just not realistic for me to do today. As you can see, I have a lot on my to-do list. All right guys, so here's the grocery haul for this week. I did a Kroger pickup and um, we didn't need very much. We just mainly needed some more produce, milk, things like that. Here in the front, I got us a loaf of bread. We've got a lot of kids in the house this week. My mom, I'm sure will probably make a loaf of bread as well. But to make things easier on us, I went ahead and grabbed us a loaf of white bread. I got some potato chips. The kids can have these with sandwiches if they want. Um, also got a pineapple to cut up and have in the fridge. I think pretty much all the kids like pineapple, so we'll have that. I got a gallon of milk for the week. Um, I got two things of eight o'clock coffee. These were on sale. If you buy two, you were able to use a digital coupon. And I'll go ahead and be able to fill up my coffee canister. Um, I got some sweetened condensed milk. This will be for the yogurt. If I decide to make it this week, I haven't decided yet, but just in case I do decide, right here, I thought I was getting a bunch of bananas, but only got one. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the store this week and grab some bananas because Ray's shakes require them. So, and the rest of the kids really enjoy them as well. So I need to get a bunch of those. I got one cucumber for us to have this week. This, um, I found these organic chicken and apple breakfast sausages. There's not very many in the package, but um, I'm thinking this will be like something quick for raised breakfast. I don't think the boys will eat these. Um, I'm gonna let them try them, and if they like them, I'll definitely buy more of these. But there's no nitrates or nitrites. Um, they're gluten and casein free. So I think that this will be something good and quick to pop in the air fryer for her breakfast and hand her some fruit with it. I got some clementines. I also got some lemons because I want to get back into drinking lemon water. I really do enjoy the lemon water. It doesn't bother me and it's supposed to be like a good um, detox, like a natural detox for your body. And it's a little bit better to me than drinking plain water. I just despise drinking plain water, so I think this will spruce it up a little bit. 
Um, and then I also got some Gala apples. And I forgot to show you guys, I also got a 12 pack of my Sprite Zero. I got a case of water and then also some more Gatorades for the kids. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this put away. I need to get dinner in the crock pot. I'm gonna prep this pineapple and get that in the refrigerator. We have breakfast cookies to make and then also some sausage balls. For dinner tonight, we're gonna do a Mississippi roast in the crock pot. Um, for this, you just need some pepperoncinis, a stick of butter, your roast obviously, um, some ranch powder, and I think you actually need the au jus mix, but we didn't have au jus. All we have is brown gravy, so that's what I'm gonna work with. Um, but you just put everything in the crock pot and let it go for six to eight hours on low. I'm sure most of you have heard of the Mississippi roast. It's a pretty popular recipe. It's actually my all-time favorite roast recipe, and there's not many ingredients involved. If you've never made this before and plan to, just be prepared for your house to smell amazing all day. So I put about eight to 10 pepperoncinis in ours because we like a little kick to it. The kids don't really eat it, so we just go ahead and make it how we like it. But if you don't want as much of a kick, then maybe do half that amount. And then I also pour in some of the juice from the pepperoncini jar. quick I need to take a break from the kitchen and go ahead and get the kids bedding in the wash between sheets and both comforters it takes about three loads so I need to go ahead and get this on so that it can be going while I do everything else So I've got some food prep I need to do and I really don't like to work in a dirty kitchen. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash up the dishes. I was gonna be creating more and I didn't want a huge mess by the time I finished.
sausage balls but I forgot to take this out ahead of time so it's frozen solid I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the pot and just turn it on low while I do everything else I need to clean off the kitchen table and we'll probably go ahead and do the breakfast cookies um, and then hopefully by the end this will be ready but it's gonna take it a pretty long time to cook breakfast cookie recipe that I'm following I'll link it down below um, it seems like it's gonna be pretty easy there's no baking involved pretty much you just need some peanut butter honey I've got old-fashioned oats here flax seed chia seed and then I'm gonna add in some protein powder a little bit of vanilla extract and for a little something something just some semi-sweet chocolate chips So I didn't realize this was going to make such a small amount of cookies. I wasn't paying attention to the measurements and I really just didn't think anything of it, but it made a very small amount. However, that's okay because it was our first time having them. So it gave us a chance to make sure the kids was going to like them first, but they turned out to be a big hit. As a matter of fact, they were gone as soon as they were done. Um, so I'll definitely be making them again. These are peanut butter based, but the texture reminds me a lot of the chocolate no bit cookies that you get at Walmart, which I love. Um, but the kids really enjoyed them and they are somewhat more healthy than a Pop-Tart or anything like that, which my kids eat a lot of. So I'm just trying to make more health conscious decisions, not only for myself, but for them as well. So it says to roll these out into eight balls. I ended up getting 10. And then after this, you can go ahead and put some chocolate chips or whatever you want on top. But I put chocolate chips in the mixture. So I'm not gonna add any on top, but you just stick these in the freezer until they set up. I'm thinking maybe 15 minutes. Alright, so I went ahead and washed up my dishes I used. I'm trying to clean as I go today so I don't have like a huge mess after I get done. But the sausage is cooking up nice. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get all of my other ingredients that I need for the sausage balls into the bowl. And then hopefully by then the sausage will be ready. I'm doubling the recipe for this so I have four eggs here I've got some Italian seasoning that I've already measured out some Colby Jack cheese some milk um, all-purpose bacon mix also known as Bisquick that's what that is here in this bag I just went ahead and took it out of the box you also need some Parmesan cheese but we don't have any so we're just gonna leave the Parmesan cheese out I think it'll be fine
so I noticed it was looking a little runny still so I added more Bisquick in until I had the texture that I wanted you want them so that they sit on the pan and not run whenever you lay them down so I just added in more Bisquick I don't think that I initially added enough cheese either so I baked one batch and then I added in the rest of the block of cheese and I think that helped other than that I'm not really sure why it was runny unless the Parmesan cheese did make that much of a difference but if this is your first time to my channel, I like to make these for breakfast. I'll go ahead and make a few batches and then I'll put them into freezer bags and they reheat really well in the oven, the microwave or the air fryer. And whenever I double the recipe, it usually does about four to five batches at the time. So I don't have an actual link for this recipe, but I will have it typed out in my description box for you guys. I can see it in your eyes You don't wanna talk anymore I wanna get so numb, wanna get so numb While we enemies I'm not afraid to 
So today is my dog's bath day and normally on bath day we wash all of the living room linens like couch covers, throw blankets, and her bed. But because I was washing the kids bedding today, I skipped all of that. It was just going to be way too much. And we had actually washed the couch covers a few days ago anyways because of the kids. So they really weren't needing it, but I will wash her bed today. So who else's kids love the little fidget toys? My kids are obsessed lately. So that's what you see on the coffee table. I will say that some of the fidgets are pretty interesting. Even I play with them. <laughs> They're not your usual toys, but they're supposed to be calming and help with focus, therefore enhancing learning abilities. So I don't know, that's just what I've read so far, but my kids have really enjoyed them for playing with in general. I found ours on Amazon and they had several packs to choose from. So the weather outside was getting pretty rough. The rain was coming down so hard and the lights were starting to flicker. So if you notice little flickers, that's why I was really trying to book it at this point, trying to finish my list. Thinking of taking a break, shutting it down to refresh. Honey, it's all for the better. Oh no. So spit it out to my face.
So now that the kids bedding is washed I've got my dogs on to go in in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and bathe her I usually try to wait until I at least have her bed in the dryer first so that the timing is about right and her bed is nice and warm whenever she comes out of the bath but as I said earlier I was just trying to get finished just in case we lost power Need no apologies, cause that's don't really care what you think what you think what you think Y'all, I am still not loving these Clorox toilet wands, so I think I'm gonna switch to the Scrub -a Bubbles version. A lot of you have mentioned that brand, so I wanna give that a try. I didn't even know that the Scrub -a Bubbles had their own version, so thank you guys for telling me that. I'm definitely gonna give those a try, but the Clorox ones are just falling apart so easily, and I can't clean the toilet before it's barely hanging on, and that's just really annoying when you're trying to clean the toilet. <laughs> satisfying part I get to check off everything that I have completed so far so I've washed the kids bedding got dinner in the crock pot I deep clean the bathroom I washed and prepped the produce for the week I made breakfast cookies sausage balls Pom got her bath I still need to order the kids school shoes so I won't check that off just yet but I vacuumed and mopped and I picked up my bedroom and restocked the diapers so that's going to complete today's video. I feel really accomplished. I got everything done that I needed to get done. The only thing I have left to do is to order the boys school shoes, <laughs> but that is it. I'm done with everything else. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got all the motivation that you needed. You guys will have to let me know down below what's on your to-do list. Remember that if you did get some motivation from today's video to give me a thumbs up because it does help me out a ton. Don't forget to check out Top Cashback. I'm going to have that link and everything down below in the description box. And if you guys spend $25 or more, they're going to give you a Top Cashback $10 bonus plus your cashback. So make sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.